this key concept video looks at tree diagrams, which is used for probability questions. And they appear in pretty much every single or maybe every second IB Math Studies exam paper. And my aim for this key concept video is to give you an, an overview via an example and talk about the three key concepts that you need to understand for tree diagrams. And we'll go through these as we answer an example question. So in this example here, we have uh, we are told that 60% of the days are hot. If it's hot, Jake swims 80% of the time. If it's cold, Jake swims 30% of the time. And we have a tree diagram here on the right. It's a two-stage tree diagram. So the first stage is the temperature. And the second stage is swim or not. Okay, first step is to put our probabilities onto the tree diagram. Let's have a look at this first piece of information. 60% of the days are hot. Now on our tree diagram, we usually write our probabilities as decimals, not percentages. So 60% as a decimal is 0 0.6. And you may be thinking, why did I write that there? Well, this is the hot branch. This is the branch that goes up to the hot event. So that's why that probability goes on top. It is associated with this branch here. Now, I'm not told how many days are cold. However, this is the first key concept. The branch probabilities need to add to one. So every branch that comes out of the same point, sometimes we have three or four stage branches and the same rule still apply, still applies. When we add up the probabilities, it needs to add to one. So if this is 0.6 here, this will be 0.4 here. 0.6 plus 4.4 4 is equal to 1. So that's the first one. Let's tick that off. Okay, now let's have a look at the next information. If it's hot, so we're looking at if it's hot, Jake swims 80% of the time. Now this is the swim branch, so we're going to put our probability, which as a decimal is 0 0.8, here. And again, with the same rule, if this is 0 0.8, they need to add to 1, so this will be 0 0.2. If it's cold, Jake swims 30% of the time. So now we're down here in the cold event, swims 30% of the time, this will be 0 0.3. And again, same rule, they need to add to one, so this will be 0 0.7. So we have completed our tree diagram here. Now you might be thinking, well, what's the point of that? However, it is very useful to find out probability questions like the two examples I'm gonna go through now. The first question says, find the probability that the day is hot and he goes for a swim. So it's not just that he goes for a swim, it's the combination of goes hot, so up to this event, and then goes for a swim. Now to calculate that, this brings in the second key concept, to find this outcome here, that it's hot and he swims, we multiply the branch probabilities. So in this case here will be the first branch, 0 0.6, multiplied by the second branch, 0.8. Eight, and that will be 6 eighths of 48, so 0 0.48. So again, just to recap, we want to go up this, up there to get to this outcome here. I usually asterisk the outcome, and we multiply the probabilities. Second question, uh, we have ticked off that key concept. Find the probability that Jake swims. So there now there are two outcomes here. The day is hot and he swims, or the day is cold and he swims. So there's two different outcomes. Now we need to find the individual probabilities for each of these outcomes using the same process we just went through. And then this brings in the third key concept. When there is more than one outcome, we have two here, we just simply add them up. So the probability that he swims will be 0 0.6 multiplied by 0 0.8. So I have just done this one here, and then we just simply add the next one. And again, I go down this branch, then up this branch, 0 0.4 multiplied by 0 0.3. And this will be 0 0.48 plus, 4 threes are 12, so this will be 0 0.12, that will be 0 0.6, so the overall probability that Jake swims is actually going to be 60%. So again, key concepts, 
branches out of the same point need to add to one, the probabilities. To find an individual outcome probability, we just simply multiply the branches. And when we have multiple outcomes, we just add the individual outcomes up. Okay, that is the conclusion of this key concept video. Um, I recommend going and practicing some tree diagram probability questions now.